Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to my Thicket Excavations prison build. This is, of course, a custom settlement location enabled by a mod, where I am building a, well, massive prison to hold all of the Minutemen prisoners for my Minutemen Empire. I wanted to hang out here at the top of the cliffs and give you guys an overview shot, because it really is starting to come together. This is, scale-wise, probably one of my larger builds, and uh, from up here you can really tell how that's starting to look. Is that one of my settlers over here at the shack? Let's go to first person here so I don't fall completely off the cliff. Yeah, there's a settler way up here. I'm gonna head down this way and we're gonna make our way over to the far side because today we're gonna be working on the prison entrance itself. There's still a lot to work on as far as the factory and the prisoner housing goes. Ooh, wow, this is rickety. Uh, but one of the first things that prisoners are going to see as they're transported... Oh, another very tight walkway here. As they're transported to the front gates of the prison is, well, the front gates. So I want to set up a kind of processing area where prisoners can be held. And it also needs to have a pretty impressive feel to it to overawe the new arrivals. I was thinking about possibly using this uh, quarry area here as a holding area, but I think all the resources held over here would actually be useful for other settlements. So I can see the Minutemen getting our transportation trucks in here and hauling off this quarry stone. So we're going to focus on an entrance that, uh, yeah, perhaps uses some of this area. Let's go ahead and go into build mode, and we'll see what we can come up with. Now one of the first things that we're going to see as we hit the front gate is, like I already said, the gate itself. I'm going to look into using this heavy-duty wooden gate from the junk fence category in Homemaker. Junkiness really shouldn't be an issue because you guys can see way up there We have a heavy-duty gate that actually defines the entrance to the prison proper This is just to get down the ramp into the prison, so it doesn't have to be completely fortified. I Do want to leave it pretty secure though, so let's go over to the Concrete category And let's set up some walls Nuka walls. That's new. Whoa. No idea which mod added those. I'm going to use these concrete pillars as supports for the gate because they don't have any supports built in. And that'll give us an opportunity to make our own archway as well. Because of the odd shape here, we're going to keep using these uh, smaller pieces. We just have three across instead of two. So the two by twos won't fit, of course. I kind of like the idea of having these firing ports, if you will, looking down on the entranceway. There it is the mesh sides. Oh, there's the crossbar right there that I was looking for. <laughs> I think we're okay without it, though. I'm going to leave the sandbags there. From here, we can start dividing out... Move this, too dividing out the holding area. I kind of like the idea, scrap this and this, like the idea of leaving this pen here where the guards in the tower could shoot the lock off the Meyer Lurk pen if there was a riot or something out here near the holding area. So we're going to make a separate holding area before we continue on the entrance just so I can figure out how things are going to be laid out. We're going to make it out of the homemaker fences. 
We've got this cool standalone cage unit. I'm going to place it over here just for reference because I want to use it for perhaps the more dangerous prisoners, but for the main holding area, I want it to be made out of this security fencing. I think we're actually going to need a base layer of ground supports before we do that. So let's look at pier shacks and then these shack foundations right here. Just so we have a level building area. That's going to be our, again, extremely dangerous prisoner area. And then around it, we go back to fences again. I'm going to put a lot of this security fencing. Of course, we're going to have to have a prisoner unloading area as well, which will tie into all of this fencing. So the Minutemen would have definitely looted quite a few police stations to get all of this security netting, security fencing. Now we need a good topper for it. Perhaps the concrete roofs. This is definitely lacking in uh, creature comforts. You're out here in the elements, the radiation, the heat. But this is where you're going to be kept while you're being processed before you're added to the prisoner population. Look at that, it's almost straight. So over here in one of these trailers will be where the paperwork is processed. Clean up some of that stuff. We're going to have a terminal in here for keeping control of our prisoner population records. <laughs> and to think, this is just the first stage of the prison. I think another guard tower could go here. Although this one's already built up. Maybe if we just fortify it some, it can be the guard tower that overlooks the entrance. We have one outer fence. Yeah, perhaps we'll do one big guard tower here, just to watch over all of the prisoner holding areas. And that can be the other guard tower. I'm just trying to lay things out in my mind here before we get too far. So defenses, guard posts, where's the big old guard tower? love this thing. I've already got one of them down in the lower part of the prison. Maybe we'll do it like this. So you'll be marched at gunpoint over to the holding area. Let's keep on building some fences over here. Homemaker, and then fences. Chain link. This one's going to have a very small gate for staff to access back there. There we go. You guys see that? The rotation point is on one side of the chain link fence. So if I flip it around, See, right there, it's on the left now. So you flip it around, whoop, like that, and now you can rotate it with place everywhere off of that corner. That works quite well. We'll put up a small chain link piece right here to fill that gap. Let's continue adding on to this fence section to cover the tower. This will, of course, be manned 24-7. Okay, so that seals up the guard post. Again, these aren't the most secure fences, but with so many guards on station at all times, that's going to give us the ability to get people uh, channeled and funneled into the holding areas safely. 
The guards and the towers are what keeps them from escaping from this part. The fences, again, are just for uh, funneling them into the holding areas. One mildly secure fence for the exit uh, from the quarry, where the elevator is. Gotta protect the generator here, which is trying to keep the lower parts of the prison from being completely flooded. After all, they're just prisoners, but the Minutemen can't get any work out of them if they're drowning. Right? It's a noble pursuit. Save your prisoners from drowning. Save your workers from drowning. Hmm. Another question is, once we get a shipment of supplies from down in the prison uh, up here, do you guys think we would have a work gang, essentially, of trusted prisoners to load it onto the trucks for shipments to other settlements? Or would that be, at that point, a uh, Minutemen work crew to take the supplies from, like, this gate right here onto the trucks out at the road? I don't know. I think it could be either way. It could be trusted prisoners. There's going to be so many guards along here. But it would definitely be safer if it was uh, a Minutemen work crew, for sure. Oh, that worked out nicely. Look at that. Hmm. I was going to say this might be too easy for prisoners to climb over, but we've got barbed wire down this fence, and there's really not a whole lot to climb on especially with guards everywhere. That seals in the entrance area. Let's go ahead and do a save. All right, gang, next up, we're gonna work on our two guard towers a bit more. There's gonna be that guard tower over the main gate. And then of course there is uh, the main entrance way here, which we're going to reuse partially. There's one terminal right there. Let's get rid of that flip chair. This could be kind of the medical and guard tower. Yeah, we can't edit a lot of this, and this tower is kind of tilting, unless I'm going crazy. Okay, yeah, I had to look at it there. It is tilting. But one of the things I love doing as I'm working on these different settlements is making use of stuff that's already here. So it looks like the Minutemen didn't just magically build a place. Like I said here, where they're, you know, gathering all of these police fences for this cage. But also areas where They've taken what's already here, and they've built on it to make it useful for their purposes. Sliding door. That's the one I was looking for. Yeah, It's not going to snap, so I'm going to have to align this uh, kind of carefully. It can be a little bit off-axis, you know? It's, again, repurposed, so it would be a little bit rickety-looking. And there will be a custom quarry sign that goes here for Thicket Prison. But that's going to have to wait. I'm just going to go ahead and take a screenshot of that for reference. I think I'm just going to edit the texture manually. Because that appears to be a unique sign. Now I can edit the poles here if I turn on extra object editing with place everywhere, but I can't edit the banners themselves. So these tattered banners are going to have to stay. What we're gonna do, as we work on this guard tower to make them our own, let's go over here to my update, to my Minutemen morale mod, and find the sign of justice. Justice and peace for the Commonwealth. That is an appropriate flag, I think, for the prison. Now it's starting to look like the Minutemen actually have taken over. And which of the Minutemen flags do I have that wave? There's this one. There's the wall one. Let's see, can we hang it off of the tree? How does that look? I don't know about that.
Hmm. Or could I hang it off of one of the poles up there? I don't know. You guys vote flag from the tree, or should we put a more normal flagpole up? Again, I like using what's already here, but that might look a little too rustic for the prison settlement. I'm realizing now that banner is going to block a little bit of the view, so let's shrink it down just a tiny bit. <laughs> well, that really does block some sight lines. I love how it looks, but... Hmm. Yeah, I really want that banner across there, so we're just going to have to work with poor sight lines. That would be a really general Dave thing to do right there, is uh, make the view worse from the guard tower in order to have the... Uh, <laughs> The nice banner out front. Let's see. We've got some sandbags we can place. Those are a bit much, I think. Too tall. But this could be an upgrade right here compared to what the raiders had, who owned the uh, the quarry before us, is having an actual shield for incoming rounds. We'll leave that rifle bag up there. Hmm. And then I want to cover up the side here with some style of viewports. I wonder if we could make use of let's see structures, um, stain structures. Do his half window frames here. and then cover those in the metal facades. Well, I think I'll put one heavier duty piece like that, because corrugated metal isn't gonna really stop bullets. It's just to kind of provide concealment, not true cover. This really is like The Sims, this mod building set right here. Okay, we'll do that one there. That one there. And a wire mesh one right there. So that gives it a bit more of a built-up feeling. I might put a door on this one too, just so there's some emergency security, if you will. That way if someone breaks through that rather simple chain link fence down below, the guard tower has at least a little bit of uh, security up here. rickety, but I think that works. There we go. See how that looks from down here. Looks like it was actually reinforced quite a bit. I like how that looks. A little bit of awkward clipping on the corrugated metal, but not too bad. As much as I would love to have just non-stop spotlights through here, as you guys can probably tell, just building for a little bit here is starting to affect my frame rate. And there's still a lot to build, so I don't want to go too crazy with the lighting and whatnot. Um, maybe one spotlight out front, and then uh, a big street light, like right here. Let's put some of that electricity down after we do a quick save, and then uh, we'll do some more work on the other guard tower over the gate. So this is where the viewing platform is for inside of the gate. We're going to want a mixture of, I think, walls and some railings that look down inside. So let's look at stains structures once again because we've got this awkward shape being three uh, tiles wide here in the front. We can put a single window right there in the center. And our door piece. As far as the back goes, I like this curve going on here. I think 
think I'm going to leave the back open. For now, let's look at our rooftop options. Oh, right, it's three wide. I almost forgot. So we're going to have to find a unique solution here. Let's see, if we did a rooftop like uh, perhaps this one right here. What kind of staffing is that on the corner right there? How is that supposed to be helpful? You know, this is kind of looking prefabish almost. It's a little too perfect. We're going to junky it up a bit. Let's get that fence going first over to Homemaker. Fences. Uh, chain link, perhaps? Concrete walls. Yeah, I might lay some of these retaining walls down through here, guys. Uh, and do a similar deal like we have down here with the chain link at the top. Stones for walls would be one thing that would be very easy for us to build here at the prison. All that rock, all that free labor from the prisoners. Is that floating? No, it's okay. I'm just going to march that wall on down this way. And curve it in right there at the end. It's possible to climb that spot right here, but I've got an idea to put some spikes there. And of course, this whole section will be guarded day and night. I might not even bother with the barbed wire across the top because that's a very tall wall. Again, it's guarded. Is there a curved section that has the... Oh, yeah, right here. The stone at the top. There we go. Now it matches better. Yeah, that's so tall. I'm not going to put the barbed wire across. As you guys can see, I wasn't a big fan of those small rooftop sections after all. So I've swapped them out for four large roof sections. I'm adding some custom supports to make them look better. You can see the supports over there on the side right there. And for up top, I wish these snapped, but they don't snap vertically, it looks like. Let's put a big log as the support for this one. It can almost reach by itself. It'll be a base support. I still want more structure on this curved back section. So that leaves room for some sandbags or other defensive elements. Let's see. Under defenses, what do we have? Guard posts. Don't think you'd be sitting down for this one. I'll probably make that a standing guard post, which is under Homemaker, I think. But at the very end here, we should have these platforms right here for the guard post. He kind of needs more room to step, doesn't he? Okay, let's do this. Let's go to warehouse and floors. And I will manually place a section of this right here so it looks good. Move it up just a bit. That way he's got kind of a platform to stand on, but you still have that uh, viewing area down into the uh, entranceway. Okay. Well, we're out here at concrete almost. Let's put some railings up. 
And for a final touch on each side of the opening here, I'm going to go to see if I can find this actually um, homemaker. And then structures, fences, uh, miscellaneous barriers, I think is what we're looking for. I'm looking for sandbags, just the small sandbags, and bingo, got it. Don't want the one that has attached dirt piles. So there we go, that's what I was aiming for guys, was a more open feeling guard post. I might put a fire barrel up here at some point, but it's going to have to wait until we get further along uh, in the development of the settlement because I apparently can't work and talk at the same time. I don't want to put a fire barrel down because it has a lighting effect which takes up a good bit of FPS and we've still got a lot to build. So for now, no fire barrel, but that might change. It's looking pretty well supported. All we need now are those slots in the bottom of the floor of the overhang so you can pour hot oil down on an attacker's medieval style. The back here just is looking a little, I don't know, off still for me. Let's look at it from back here. The front is basically what I had envisioned, but there's just something not quite right about the back. And you guys know there's going to have to be some custom signs for above the gate here. Those will come later, though. What did it do about the back? I don't know, with the side supports, it's looking pretty good. It's just those corners hanging off that's kind of bugging me, I think. Ooh, that, oh, that arch piece right there might be what I'm looking for. Is that going to float? A little bit. I'm trying to give that outer curve a bit more character. I just didn't like how those corners hung over by themselves. Just don't want it to be floating. <laughs> yeah, that gives it a bit more character. It looks like a upside down hopper of some kind now, but yeah. That's definitely a unique structure, that's for sure. And up here we're going to have to have some, I imagine some lockers and some storage. And definitely a door of some kind. I think the tried and true red wooden door. It's going to be a tight fit. So I might make that just a little bit larger. So that we have more of a gap for the door to swing open. Comes here. That mod that added all the posts added a bunch of new stuff too. I wanted to look at ah, the caravan. I think that's going to be one of the prisoner houses down below. I worried I'm going to forget about it, so uh, let me just put it floating awkwardly here. I can use that as a ladder if I need to. It could be mounted to one of the side walls too. That could be cool. Maybe a couple of them. All right, yeah. I'll go ahead and place a few. I like where that's going. <laughs> Might add a pillar down the front here. Again, just to give it a little more unique character. Although, it looks like yeah, none of these snap end to end. Which I do wish they did. Um, let's go over to Homemaker. And I think... Oh yeah, we're definitely running out of time for this week. Let's 
place, I think it's under structures, miscellaneous. A couple of additional details. Aha! Structures, miscellaneous, raider, and super mutant objects. Got some big old canopies here. Just gotta make him work. We're not gonna leave the prisoners completely exposed to the elements. I have some additional canopies that we're gonna place uh, that are less raider style as well. So that it looks a little bit more Minutemen style, if you will. It's not actually casting much shade right now. This is a tricky one to align, guys. Yeah, I want it lower. While we're here under cinder block, I can get some to finish off the base. Like that. I love these cinder block pieces. Very, very useful. In fact, I might use them up here as a base too. And just a small one like that. Those are in the ground for the other tarps, so I will leave them be. Nope, that one's floating. Let's do one like that. Nope, not high enough. We'll do this one instead. It's the little details, guys, that make these things work. I'm gonna make some slight rickety changes to these fencing sections. Just like a few of them maybe aren't perfectly locked in. They're secure. But, you know, it's apocalypse construction, right? Things have constantly got to get repaired and tweaked. This cage, though, this thing was hauled as one single piece, so it's good to go. Let's put a big old concrete stair there. That works well. Then a smaller staircase back here. That kind of cuts into the walkway, though. I'll just sink one of these down into it. Um, doors while we're here. Need to get the prison doors. One of these slides and one of these swings. I am not sure which one is which. They don't appear to want to snap at all though. Very odd. Well, I'm just going to use cell doors for... There we go, that one snaps. For both of those. That's looking imposing. If we go back to my structures and let's see. Structures miscellaneous. There we go. We've got some additional tarps. I don't think I'm going to put any out front. I was thinking about it, but I'm not going to because that's going to really make this walkway like hard to guard if it's so covered up. So 
I will put a canopy. Wow, why is it snapping like that? <laughs> a canopy like this over the front of the guard tower. That looks good, yeah. Gives it a little bit more of an interesting shape. Instead of a box. I was going to add more of these over um, the prisoner holding section here, but I don't know. Got to go into the ground. Okay, it is. Let's use our tower here as a overlook vantage point. Does that work? That works. That's probably all the shade they're going to get. I guess back here could use uh, a single one because there's just no cover at all. Yeah, that looks nice and scrappy. So this is where you would be held if uh, you've been dropped off from a caravan for your permanent relocation to the Minutemen prison. All right, gang, I've got a plan for the last couple of things again for this episode. It's been a long one. I'm not sure how far I'll be able to edit this one down. Usually try and trim it a bit. I do have a plan though. Um, we're going to use this trailer right here as the location of a fusion reactor for the upper part. of the settlement. That should move the connect point outside automatically. So it'll be sticking up through the ceiling. But that would be a cool, secure way of uh, providing power to the top here. It is facing the outside of the settlement, but the guard towers, well, maybe not that one. The main guard tower, well, maybe not that one either would have sight lines. No, maybe none of the guard towers would have sight lines. Uh, so yeah, we're going to add one more guard tower out here. For the power plant, I guess. But I'm sticking to the plan because I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, That little caravan slash container. Look at that snap can't even see it and it worked. That container just works so well for hiding a fusion generator inside. And that's going to let us run power all over here for the spotlights. So that'll give us some more power options. Ooh. Watch it there, barrel. Because I want to have a light pole here. It's going to have a spotlight on it. And we'll probably have a spotlight up in there as well. That'll be all the spotlights we do for out front. For the gate, I don't think we're going to have a spotlight. We're going to have a more standard light that just aims down. Yeah, this cool industrial wall light. It's aimed down. That'll be our light for the gate. I do want actual spotlights. And this is why I hadn't done things like the fire barrels yet. 
for some of the buildings. Um, oh, it's under turrets, that's right. These spotlights take up quite a bit of FPS as well. So I'm gonna have one there that rotates like that. There's the spotlight beam. That looks good, that looks good. Nice. Just what I wanted there. And then a second spotlight over here. Now we can rotate these power lines a bit and then just shift them to reconnect the power. Just add some visual interest where things, again, aren't quite so perfect. Look at that. Actually, you really can't tell it's tilted. <laughs> now you can. There we go. Just a very slight tilt. Nothing's perfect in the apocalypse. Although the Minutemen sure do try, right? So that leaves our final, final, final detailing for this episode is going to be our guard post. Which needs to go right here somewhere to guard the power plant. So that'll help protect the capsule from rocket attacks and also give my guards a place to aim out at attackers. Oh man, guys, my voice is going. This has been a long one. I think I already mentioned that though. Um, man, I guess I'm going to be forced to wrap things up here. In case you guys couldn't tell, once I get into this and uh, get in a settlement crafting groove, it is hard to stop sometimes. It's like playing Civilization or Total War, you know, turn-based. It's uh, hard to find an actual stopping point, you know? Here, there's always more to build. Let's go over to Snap and Build and grab one of those capsule doors. And if that vault one was still in here, I might use that. Yeah, the bulkhead door. To help protect the reactor inside. And that gate won't do. Oh, we already have a big gate right there. Let's do this then. Let's have fun with that gate. Again, you guys can tell I'm already getting sidetracked. See, we already have ending poles on both sides of that. Let's put down some barbed wire barricades to seal up that fence. Alright, yeah, because we don't want people springing prisoners out of the uh, holding area here before they can be entered into the prison proper. So we might actually put a few more of these down as well. <laughs> I like it. Ooh, and we could do... Just a very low barbed wire fence, but mostly under the water. So you, in the dark, might not even see it. And you guys know me, there are going to be plenty of... Uh, turrets and additional guard posts everywhere. You're gonna raise the alarm for the whole base trying to get anybody out of the camp. Gates locked and secured. And then their prisoner cages will also be locked at all times, of course, as you would expect. I've got some more ideas for this capsule right here, the lower section. I might have already mentioned making it a uh, medical checkup facility to make sure that we're not going to 
infect the whole population with something awful. But, again, we're out of time, guys. That's going to have to wait until next time. Yeah, this is imposing looking. I like it. Before <laughs> I call it. The last, last, last thing. Let's find a banner to go here. And again, custom signs are going to be added here. Uh, for this front section, but I think we're going to have one classic sign. Well, guys, as you can obviously see, we've skipped ahead in time just a bit. I lied. I was not even close to done yet, and my voice was failing, so I was like, let me fix this real quick. What I discovered right after I paused the recording was I hadn't checked that the gate actually worked correctly, and it did not. It clipped completely through the sides of the shed here, the entranceway. So to fix that, I've gone all in. As you can see, I found a fantastic, slightly rusted, come in, we're open sign. A little bit of sarcasm there. That'll be a good uh, sign to hold that place until I work on some of my custom signs. Who knows, it might actually stay. And in case you hadn't noticed, there's a new gate here. This is pretty cool how this works. I've got the workshop contraptions mod going here. Some extra supports for that very heavy gate inside. So you guys can see. You just hit this switch. And it lowers down into the concrete uh, wall section gap and seals it up perfectly. I might actually use this same style gate for the lower gate as well because that's just awesome. I love how rusted it is, but also how, well, just strong it is. I mean, it feels like it really would be protecting, if not, you know, the army at the castle, a gigantic Minutemen prison. Whew, alright, that is where we actually are going to stop. As always, there's going to be a ton of tweaks to this area as I keep going, but guys, this is looking basically just like I was hoping. As always, guys, keep those ideas coming. I am trying to keep up as much as I can with the ideas for this location, and we'll see what we end up with in time for the final tour. For now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.